Hi, I'm Mark Gerstein, and I'd like to introduce you to research at the Gerstein Lab. Uh, so the lab uh, does a lot of work um, in many different um, areas of um, bioinformatics, ranging from things that emphasize uh, big data analysis and mining to other things that emphasize more uh, physical simulation and modeling. So on the big data analysis side, we do a lot of work in biological knowledge representation, literature, text mining, privacy, particularly genomic privacy. And then moving down the spectrum, we do work in uh, personal genomics, looking at uh, genomic uh, variants, particularly structure variants. The kind of center of our work is on human genome annotation and disease genomics, trying to interpret uh, disease variants in terms of the human uh, annotation. And a big way we do this is thinking about networks of genes and protein pathways. And then this work transitions into more physically based work where we start to look at actual macromolecular structures and motions. So let me tell you a little bit more about some of these areas. First, let's look at the annotating the human genome. This can be done in two different ways. One, a functional perspective, we usually get kind of some readout of the genome from a next-gen sequencing experiment, a kind of noisy readout, what's transcribed, what's bound to. We smooth the signal, and then we uh, collect it into little annotation blocks, and we fuse these blocks together into uh, potentially into networks. Another way we can annotate the genome is a comparative analysis, comparing the human genome to that of um, re related organisms such as the mouse or apes or even uh, one human to another looking for conserved blocks. We can either look for conserved blocks within the genome, here finding duplicated genes and pseudogenes and looking at the uh, history of the genome. Um, let me give you an application of this. Uh, we're very interested, as I said, in disease genomics, we're particularly interested in neurogenomics and cancer genomics. So here's one of the uh, a regulatory network that we derive from the annotation. This is for a particular type of nerve cell, an excitatory neuron. And we figured out how to take this uh, regulatory network and kind of embed it into a deep learning neural network and to try to predict a disease uh, phenotype such as uh, schizophrenia from looking at the underlying genomic variants. Uh, and this type of prediction highlights key pathways and genes that are important uh, for schizophrenia. Uh, another uh, vignette looks at our work on genomic privacy. Obviously, the pr uh, privacy of genomic information is very important in relation to sharing and aggregating a lot of information we need for the previous studies. And this vignette shows how uh, you can see uh, genomic pri uh, privacy being compromised when data sets are often linked together. For instance, a public data set that's, that's ostensibly anonymized but could be linked together to a data set with um, uh, patient identifiers through uh, through some quasi-identifiers, statistical quasi-identifier matching and then compromising patient privacy. And we've developed ways of protecting against this and sanitizing data sets. And a final uh, vignette is really the more physically based work uh, looking at uh, molecular simulation. Here we try to look at a, what a gene or molecule actually looks like. You can see it's a kind of complicated three-dimensional protein shape. We try to find the parts that are most vulnerable to mutations by looking at kind of the parts that are um, move the most when the uh, protein flexes. And we do this through uh, kind of simulation technique, kind of rolling a ball on its surface.